Here we have the DR900S two channel dash cam and the Powermagic Easy made by Blackview. This review was made possible by Blackview. This was shipped directly from Korea via DHL. Blackview has a nice lineup of one channel and two channel options. The DR900S comes in one and two channel options with a range of Blackview micro SD cards up to 256 gigs. Most security based recording devices recommend high performance endurance cards. This is due to continuously writing and reformatting. Blackview will not guarantee functionality or honor any warranty due to using any micro SD cards other than Blackview's very own. This particular option has an Ultra HD front camera and a full HD rear camera. With their compression options for 4K, you'll find that it's a very manageable file size. The key with 4K that I noticed compared to my entry level dash cam which is only HD or maybe even 720p is that you can only really make out license plates when they're very close to you. With 4K you can easily pinch and zoom right from the app. It's not perfect but you have a much better chance at capturing the details compared to a traditional HD camera. If this is not within your budget, you could also speak the license plate out loud so your dash cam picks up the audio of that important information. This Blackview model has a bunch of great features. You can download the app for Apple or Android and also use a viewer for your Mac or PC. So what's stopping you from getting one? Cost? Installation? Features? Well, let me start by saying with technology-based products, you often pay for what you get. Blackview has been a reputable dash cam provider for many years and is not a fly-by-night company. You're investing into your property and safety. If you're worried about installation, look no further. You can purchase the PowerMagic Easy with compatibility with most vehicles right into your OBD2 port. If you're not sure what that is, it's the port that is usually located right below your steering wheel. It's where dealers and mechanics usually scan for codes or where they check for your emissions. This simple device comes in at $30 and is literally plug and play. It has switches that allow you to shut off power from draining your battery, timer, and an on and off switch when it enables power during parking mode. I've been using this feature with my truck for a few weeks now and have not had any issues with draining my battery. Although dash cans have been available for a while, I personally never felt the need for one until recently. Between caring for my vehicle and seeing numerous fender benders online, I don't know why I never looked into them further. It started with me being gifted an inexpensive dash cam that I just decided to mount and plug in via the cigarette lighter. Over time I viewed the footage alongside accidents online and couldn't help but to want more. This is where Blackview comes into play. While Blackview products are a bit more pricey compared to this entry level dash cam that I was currently using, you definitely step up with features and overall quality that suits the price point. If you simply want a dash cam, by all means, any is better than none. If you want parking mode features, Wi-Fi connection, GPS and two channel options, invest in this product and let the dash cam start working for you. So installation was very simple and you can definitely do this yourself on most vehicles. Clean the glass with alcohol and let it dry. Now you want to mount the dash cam to where the camera itself is centered with the glass. So from here you can simply plug in the power and run it to your cigarette lighter or use the power magic easy. Use the included pry tool and pry back the edges just enough to tuck in the wires. If you have side airbags, I would recommend running the wire underneath of it so it doesn't cause any interference. Every vehicle is different, but I basically ran the cable along the windshield and along the side of the windshield and then underneath of the steering wheel. To power the rear camera, all you do is plug in the included cable right into the front camera. From here I ran it across the windshield just like before and then along the top of the panels all the way to the back making sure I'm under any airbags. The trickiest part for me was having the cable hang to where it wouldn't affect my rear lift gate or the window. They do include some adhesive tabs to help hold or guide the cable. Make sure not to stick the rear camera onto one of the defroster lines. I personally cut my defroster before trying to remove adhesive and forgetting that I was on the defroster. You don't have to follow this, but it's what I recommend. 
I could have made this a cleaner install as I really wanted the wiring to exit out the same spot that the cold defroster wire came out of. Instead, I ran it out of the panel and guided it through the coil to manage the loose end. In order for me to run it through the same hole, I'd have to do some more work that I didn't want to at this time, but maybe at a later date. So recently I was parked in the neighborhood waiting for somebody and I noticed this car pull really close to me. I already thought that that was strange but then a few moments later the passenger in the rear of this Lyft or Uber decided to exit out my side of the vehicle when she planned on leaving to the other side in the first place. It made absolutely no sense to me and they were super close I'm talking about less than a foot away. Luckily the camera was on and I know if I wasn't in the car they would have hit the car and kept going. This is where parking mode would have helped me or helped somebody if there was significant damage done to the vehicle. I was able to easily zoom into the footage from the app and see the license plate or in post you could easily make out the make of the vehicle and the plate. For the most part a lot of people seem inconsiderate when it comes to parking and respecting people's property. I see it all the time. I end up parking far away on purpose, and then when I come back out, I notice everyone is parked right next to me anyway. Having the system gives me a peace of mind. It doesn't matter the value of your vehicle. It's your vehicle, and you want to make sure that you can protect it. You hit the truck. Yeah, they hit the truck. I'm sitting in the truck and they hit the truck. So I definitely recommend this Blackview dash cam system. Great value, features, and so far very dependable. This is Health at All. Please hit like and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification icon to get future updates on future videos or visit www.howtoandreviews.com. Till next time. <laughs>